Eyes up, Guardian. We're responding to a distress call from House Salvation civilians. They wouldn't ask us for help if it wasn't dire, so let's use our leverage wisely. This is a humanitarian mission, so hold fire on all Elixni targets. Good luck. report that Aramis is on site. Your orders are to take her alive. Now, I know she's caused a lot of damage, but killing her will only harden anti-human sentiment. I'm not turning my first op as Hunter Vanguard into a bloodbath. Guardian. It's not an attack, it's a roundup. But new scorn only come from dead Elixni. So why do they want the prisoners alive? House Salvation ships are bailing for Earth, and the Helm just arrived to take on stragglers. There's a lot of reasonable distrust of Aramis' people, but I'm taking the long view. I want to prove that hunters can build bridges, not just blow them up.
There's something different about these scorn. The freed civvies keep referring to them as Naviskirisk, which translates to not lifeless. Not sure what they mean by that yet. Xenobiological analysis is in. These scorn are made of living tissue, Guardian. Not necrotic like normal. Naviskirisk. Fikril must have found a new source of power. Something paracausal. Stand before me if you dare. I'll send you back to the drift again and again. will never bow. Not to the scorn, and not to the vanguard! Aramis is getting away, Guardian. Chase her down. got his hands on an Echo. He's using it to mutate the ether of living Elixni. That explains this new breed of scorn and why he wants the captives alive. For now, let's keep our eyes on the prize. Aramis is cornered. I'm coming down to personally negotiate her surrender. Stand by. Good work, Guardian. This has been a long time coming. Aramis Kell, it's not for me to judge you, but... I speak for the people of the last city now. They're demanding justice for all the people you've harmed. Guardians and civilians, both. And it's my job to deliver you. 
The justice of thieves and oppressors. What hypocrisy. Your blades are covered in the ether of my kin. Think of the kin you have left. They're aboard the helm right now and they need you. You can't abandon them. Besides, if I came back without you, Ida would never forgive me. If I come quietly, you will guarantee safe harbor for my people? As long as they disarm and live peacefully with House Light, they'll be safe in the city. You have my word. I expect the Guardian to enforce that. Now take me to Ido. All hands. This is the Hunter Vanguard. We have a high-value prisoner on board and a house salvation catch inbound. Prepare for boarding defense. We don't want to fight your rescue team, Aramis. Call them off. I'm not the one in need of a rescue. Once he finds you, Too late. Father! I bring a gift. A power to make all Elixni our children. Reborn through extinction. Reason has scored. has happened. I can't believe the helm is gone. At least we managed to salvage a small section of the ship from Europa. We couldn't leave poor Failsafe alone out there again. We must operate out of the last city for now. And so, welcome to my tonic shop. 
Petra has been helping me search through old records. Techian research, even materials from the old House of Wolves. I found many references to tonics. Elixirs my forebears used to treat sickness or grant strength. This wasn't common medicine. Old Reese was suffused with the light of the Great Machine. Some of these ingredients must have been too. My father is... ailing. Nezarek's curse works upon him day by day. But I know there's a solution in here somewhere. I won't give up until I find it. I hope my studies can be of some use to you as well. Whatever new power it is that Fikrul wields, we'll need a way to counteract it. For now, it may be helpful to study the revenants that Fikrul creates. It's unsavory, but we have to start somewhere. I believe my father wants to speak with you. Please, don't let him know that I'm worried for him. you in the light, Guardian. I regret that you must see me like this. I know insists that this is flowing with a curse, but it is no cure. Mm. Much elixir medicine was forgotten. Ido seeks a remedy in secrets of old Rees. There are few still living who know the ways of our lost home. Eremiskel remembers. Captured by the Guardian this day, she will help. Her love for the Elixni is poisoned by her hatred of the Great Machine. But now she will see wisdom in your path. Yes. Safety with house light. Protected by guardians. Safe, but not whole. I thought being near the Great Machine would help reclaim what we lost on Rhys. But I look at our hatchlings now. Living in the ruins of humanity, building lives from scrap, and I see that we are debased, corrupted, defiled, doomed to meet our final end. Varix teaches the ways of house judgment. She will find old solutions to new problems. You will see. Even after the Traveler fled our sky, and our world was swept away in horror. After our great houses fell to betrayal and futile war, some Elixney held hope for unity and a future for our people. I do not know how much time remains to me, but if none challenge Fikrul, that dream is lost. Fikrul will condemn Elixni to decay and ruin. We will be a dead people, ruled over by the dead. My life is for my daughter and my house. Let them see that I still believe the old stories. 
Old stories tell that when Reese was threatened by dangers no weapon could defeat, the Kells would call upon a Slayer Baron. One possessed of forgotten knowledge, capable of impossible feats. One who can stand against an unrelenting foe. Does that not describe you well, my friend? So much of our history is tale and myth, but the scribe Varix remembers much. But what he cannot recall, Ido will help you uncover. I name you my Slayer Baron, and I beg of you, defend our house, defend our people. Deliver them from this second whirlwind. And when the time comes, deliver them from my curse. of the dead. 